Hello there YouTube, this is Boxon. Just want to show you a video of my Sanuki Prusa i3 printer that I got a couple of months ago and I'm very happy with it. First off I'm going to show you some prints that I did with it. These are some early prints. Uh, this is some of the first prints I did. Uh, the red filament is the one that originally came with the printer. Uh, not that good filament actually but you know hey it's a good start and you get it for free so not much to argue about there then I got this white filament and also black uh, which you can see here I just made an ugly paint job on it looks uh, ugly <laughs> but um, the white filament gives it a much better finish but as you can see I also had some bed adhesion problems it's kind of not that even uh, which I was able to solve uh, like yesterday well I you know the adhesion problem wasn't too bad but um, I have now managed to solve them once and for all so before showing you how I did that I just want to show you some of the modifications I did to it first of all as you can see I placed this 12 volt lead strip uh, on the printer to give me some light on the print bed and I added this fan duct from Thingiverse with my uh, own modifications uh, and I didn't want to change too much of the original printer itself so I ended up uh, wanting to use the screw holes from the uh, from the standard fan so and also here I added the out of bed leveling system which consists of a servo and the C end stop that used to be down there in the messy compartment of cables <laughs> um, so before each print, uh, this arm here goes down uh, to measure nine different positions of the bed and the cal calculate the bed level and, uh, and uh, adjust the printer to, uh, to them. Uh, however, uh, I also added this. Uh, cable protection hose uh, the printer originally came with some black spiral wrapping kind of stuff but uh, I thought that would just be too much time consuming or something like that if I wanted to change something down here or change any cables or add something uh, this just uh, tear apart as you can see here and just put it on again and to put it on you just use this uh, tool you put your you can split it in half and you put your cables through here and you just slide that along the protection like this and your cables goes down in here so it took like uh, I don't know 15 seconds or something to get that thing onto there. So moving to, to the next side of the printer, uh, I, I changed the Bowden extruder screw to the MK7 uh, because this old one I found out that it was just grinding the filament too much and didn't give it and and the filament after it grinded the filament it ended up stuck in this uh, hose here so I changed that to the MK7 and not the MK8 which I also got but uh, that didn't work because uh, as you can see it's much smaller compared to the MK7 and using that the gap in between the bearing here and the, the screw was too big so it didn't grab the filament at all 
Um, kind of messy down here with the cable uh, at the moment. I'm just thinking of uh, printing some box or something to hide the cables to make it look nicer. Uh, and I control the printer via the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and uh, it's uh, connected to this via wireless um, networks card. So I control it from my PC, just uploading the prints to it. Uh, so that's working really good, I don't have to have a USB cable all the way to my PC. Uh, and as I said, uh, I had some issues with uh, dead adhesion at the beginning, which I've uh, now completely solved. And as you can see on this part, it's really bent. This is part from my friend's home cockpit. But as you can see, this, this was supposed to be completely flat. And uh, it isn't, it's quite bent. And as you can see, the thickness varies quite much through the part. And that was because of the original tape that came with the printer, uh, it it just lifted off the bed, you know, the tape lifted itself and then also the prints lifted off the tape. It's not really that kind of a rough surface that I guess you would want with a 3D printer. So I got this blue tape instead and that didn't work either because uh, well, the bed adhesion problems was gone, but it was impossible to get the prints off the tape and it was just leaving blue messy spots everywhere on the print, so that didn't... You know, it's probably not the best tape, I just found it in my local hardware store and thought I would give it a try. But uh, anyway, I found a much more re reliable solution than that. And as you can see on this part that I made after using that solution, the problem is completely gone and it's even through the print and it's flat you can't you know it's flat however you turn it it's it doesn't it isn't bent or something like that so the solution was this white stuff which is a 5 to 1 ratio of glue and water. One bottle of glue, 100 milliliters, just put it in a glass jar. Fill the bottle up five times with hot water and pour it into a jar. Then just give it a shake, make sure everything is mixed. And then uh, I just use uh, like a cotton. Uh, pad or something and I just apply it evenly to the bed so that uh, that actually helped quite a lot and as you can see the problems is all gone so for my next video I thought to uh, show you uh, the out of bed leveling feature in action and also show you how to apply this mixture of glue and water which which is really cheap you know this bottle cost me like uh, in dollars four dollars or something and uh, this will last forever so see you see you in my next video when I'm showing you the outer bed leveling and the printer in action bye